everybody is having a wonderful day. So as you guessed, we are going to talk about the wet and wild items that I hauled, uh, I think it was last week. So I have been using these products every day since I purchased them because I wanted to give every item a fair shot. I've been using all the items differently with different primers, with um, different lipsticks, without lipsticks, with eyeshadow bases, all of that um, every day this week. That way I can kind of use the products with products that I normally use. That way you can get a fair shot. So, as you saw in the little itty bitty tutorial, I'm going to talk about the lip gloss, the eyeshadow, and the mascara. So, the eyeshadow palette. Um, this is in the shade Desert Heat. So you, you you watched me use this shade and this shade. Now, I do like this. I like these two shades. That's why I used it. Just something simple today, just for demonstration purposes only. Um, I do not like these two. These are the glitter that's set in the gel. I don't like those. Um, I thought when I purchased it that it was all powder, but it is not. It is that weird gel consistency with the glitter in it. If you like that, then you may love this. Now, would I recommend that you go out and buy this? No, because if you have um, the Wet n Wild Color Iconic, the little mini palettes, uh, this is in the shade uh, Go Commando. Is that right? Yeah, this is in the shade Go Commando. If you have this already, this shade right here is the exact same. Well, it may be a little bit deeper, but I don't think it's deep enough where you can really tell. It may come across on camera a different, but I did do one day, I did one eye with one and one eye with the other, and I could not tell the difference. So I, if you're gonna buy something, I would prefer to buy this. Now these I think are $3, and this is five. I like this one better. That's my opinion. If you love this, wonderful. So, that's what I think about that. Um, I mean, it's okay. It's, I, I like Wet n Wild eyeshadows. Um, I love these much, much better. So I probably might grab a couple more of these just to, um, just to have in my collection. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is the lip gloss. This is in No Sleep. I tend to gravitate towards shades like this. And I like this. This was $2.98. I put this over a lipstick today. Um, I like the feel of it. It's not sticky. Now, does it last long? Absolutely not. It does not claim to let be a long wearing lip gloss. This is something that I'll repurchase because I love the formula. This reminds me, I don't know if I have it in front of me. I'm gonna look really, really quickly. Um, I may not have it there. I don't know where it is right now. But this reminds me of the Chris, uh, Christina Dominique, I think that's her name. This reminds me of that. It's a really smooth formula. Um, I really like this. I might go and pick this up in a couple more shades. I really like this one. Um, the last thing we're gonna talk about in this tutorial um, is the mascara. Now, this, when you first open this mascara, it is not curved like that. Hopefully you can see that. It is not curved like this. It was straight. When I take mine out, I curve it because I just, I don't like a straight wand. Um, it depends on what mascara it is, if I do not curve it or not. But this, yes, it does not come curved like that. I did that. This mascara retailed for $2.98. I do like this. I like how black it is. I like how long it makes my lashes. 
Um, and like I said before, I've worn this for seven days now, because right now this is Sunday. Um, this does not smudge on me. It does not flake on me. And everybody that watches me knows that my eyes water a lot. Um, it does not smear on me. The only bad thing I would think of, excuse me, the only bad thing that I can say about this is if you're in a hurry doing your makeup, don't grab the for this because you have to work at this. It takes a lot. It takes a lot of building up. Um, it takes many, many coats. I put a coat on, I let it dry, I do another, I do another. I do. It takes a lot of work. So if you're in a hurry, grab for something else. But if you have 10, 15 minutes to devote to your eyelashes, I do. I make sure I have enough time because I like my lashes to look a certain way. So I make sure I devote extra time to them. So this will be something that I do buy, even though it takes a little more work. I like it. I love the formula, like the way it feels. And um, I wanted to mention as well, it is not one of those mascaras that is hard to remove. It is simple to remove. So that is another plus. So that is my little opinions on these three products. And, um, I will be repurchasing these two, not this one I'm going to pass. Um, the next video is the last two, two or three, oh, excuse me, last three products that I hauled from this line, which I've been using as well. I've been using all this makeup for a week. I'm gonna let you know my feelings on the blush, the bronzer, and the highlight. Okay, guys, if you have any opinions, put them down in the comments. Hope everybody's having a happy Mother's Day and I'll see you in the next video.